Happy New Year, everybody. Now, we all know scuba diving is cool. Why else would you be watching this channel? It's certainly not for my sense of humor. Now, like anything in this world, there are pros and cons to scuba diving. At the start, everything is sunshine and rainbows whilst learning to dive, but there are some cons too to being a scuba diver. So, sorry to burst your bubble, but here are some pros and cons of being a scuba diver. I hope that's the name of the title. Pro, you look badass. Am I allowed to say badass? Yeah. 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 When you get all of your gear to match up just right, you can look proper badass while scuba diving. When you get all of your gear on point and a photographer gets you at just the right angle, you really do have your Instagram profile picture for the next two years. Con, but you usually look like this. Be very gentle with what picture you put up, Sean. <laughs> the downside to scuba diving is that of the hundreds of pictures of you that are taken, only about 1% of them are actually presentable. While you may feel like you look pretty cool in the water, you actually don't. You actually look like this, I'm afraid. Pro, you get to travel the globe. Scuba diving has taken me to all sorts of countries that I never would have thought of if it weren't for scuba diving. Scuba opens up a new level of tourism because there is a whole new range of landmarks and things to see when visiting a country that you probably wouldn't think of visiting normally. It also encourages you to revisit places because there are just so many more places to visit in the water compared to on the land. What? Yep. Yup, 70% of the earth is covered in water. Con, you have to carry all your stuff when traveling the globe. Yeah, good luck fitting that into a little thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, carrying all of your kit to and from the airport can suck. Diving in remote locations can suck too. Not the diving, just the carrying your stuff backwards and forwards. The most civilized is a liverboard because once you're set up, you're usually no further than 10 steps from the water's edge. Pro, the freedom. Scuba diving gives you a new sense of freedom moving around the world. You can move in any direction and stay there as you're no longer dictated by gravity pesky gravity. You can get up close and personal to walls and pinnacles without having to climb or use ropes in case you fall because there is no falling while scuba diving, except on a boat. Yeah, don't fall over on a boat, it, it hurts. Con, freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free. Yeah, the freedom of weightlessness isn't cheap. While it doesn't have to be expensive, traveling to far-flung places and top-notch dive gear can be expensive at times. But let's face it, it's worth it. You only live once. Hashtag YOLO. Uh, <laughs> is that still a thing? No. Do people still YOLO? It hasn't been a thing since 1982. <laughs> Pro, you get to see stuff. While diving, you are part of an elite group of people that are the only ones that can reach certain places. And quite a few of them are time sensitive too. They're disappearing very quickly, so only scuba divers will be able to see them before they're gone. And the final con, your smelly cupboard. Uh, that's a bit rude. <laughs> yeah, you really have to clean your kit properly. And even if you do, wherever you keep your dive kit tends to have a you know, definitive smell. And no, not that satisfying smell of neoprene you get at a nice dive center, that kind of funky smell of something that's been submerged in a local lake for an hour or two, and now has stuff growing inside of it. So what pros and cons are important to you? Let us know in the comments and let's educate the new scuba divers out there. Thanks for watching and safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.